This is Guy Salga from touringplans.com. Today with another Disney merchandise review. Today I'm taking a look at the Disney Parks Trash Can Salt and Pepper Shaker Collection. It's been a couple weeks ago now since it hit. It is available in Disneyland, Walt Disney World, and on the Disney Store online shop. So first, these these are obviously trash cans for you trash can enthusiasts and for people who want to have trash can shaped items on your dinner table. They, uh, they, they are sold individually, they are not sold as one complete set so you have to pay, it's uh, $8.95 per a trash can each one. Uh, so I'll just go and go through and just show you some of the details on each one. I'll start off with Adventureland. Uh, oh yeah, and first of all, these these are not based off of any trash cans, past or present, as far as I know, in Disney World, Disneyland, or any other Disney theme park. I think these are just original designs made in the spirit of the trash cans that are in those places. I'll start off with Adventureland. It has the orange trim and the orange push sign with the bamboo all around. There's each side. You can see the Disney Adventureland logo, which has been appearing on Adventureland merchandise recently, like the bowls and plates and cups and napkins and that huge line they just released. A little detailing that I like is you can see it even has like where the little screws or rivets would be on the trash can. Uh, on the bottom we have the hand wash only warning and copyright Disney made in Thailand and then the part number. And here's the little, the little hole to pop in the salt or pepper, or whatever you decide to use it for. Cinnamon, I don't know. Pretty cool. Like that one a lot. Here's the Tomorrowland one. It's got the Tomorrowland T on it. And this is kind of like a, I don't know, like a really light mustard color going all around, and then the baby blue push sign. Here's the bottom. There's the side again with the with the rivets and that same design and the other side. This is the Frontierland trash can. This is definitely to me is the most visually interesting one because it has the logos for the rafts to Tom Sawyer Island, Frontierland Railroad Station and Big Thunder Mountain. Kind of a cool like wood grain on the side and this gray trim with the gray push sign. Really nice design on this one. I like that one a lot. And finally, here is the Fantasyland trash can. This is probably my favorite of the collection. Uh, baby blue is one of my favorite colors, so I really like that trim. But then you can kind of see in the background and on the sides how it has this like fake brickwork like on the on the castle. I really like that. And then the Fantasyland shield with a couple of different Tinkerbell poses. So that is the Disney Parks Trash Can Salt and Pepper Shaker Collection, like I said, available now in the parks. I don't know where it's at in Walt Disney World, but in Disneyland, which is what I am a local to, it is available in the China Closet. You can get all four there, or you can go to Adventureland Bazaar to get the Adventureland can. You can go to Star Trader to get Tomorrowland, or you can go to Mercantile in Frontierland to get the Frontierland Trash Can. The only place the Fantasyland trash can is available is in China Closet on Main Street. So you might as well go there and pick up all four. These, right now these are selling out pretty quickly so you might need to get lucky or check back multiple times to see if they're actually in stock. But even if these aren't in stock, go and take advantage of the other great retro inspired merchandise they have in stock right now because there's a lot of good stuff. And you want to support stuff like that because you know, stuff like this doesn't come around very often. It's a lot of usually generic merchandise, kind of un un uninteresting, to be honest with you. But anyway, yeah, eight ninety five each. Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, Frontierland, Adventureland trash cans. That's it for this time. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.